all my cutie pies, Auntie Judy here. I just got a quick little bit of uh, something to say right now. I've been watching the news since yesterday and stuff. I always do because that's what old aunties do when the kids don't come by and see us. But um, I want to talk to you about something. This thing about Roseanne Barr, what she said, okay? Let's just face it, folks. It was very racist. It was directed by two, one person. And it was very racist against her ethnic background and also attacked her religion. Okay. So, <clears throat> what ABC did, hooray for them because they're not in it for the money. You know, Roseanne could have made them some money, but they said that they're not going to tolerate that. She broke her contract. So, in other words, it's not okay for her to say that kind of stuff because people, guess who else owns ABC? Disney. That mouse is gangster. He makes you sign a contract saying that you can't do this, 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 and you have to act a certain way in public. If you break any of that contract, yes, your ass is on the damn streets. So what's the big deal, people? It has nothing to do with Trump. It has nothing to do about politics whatsoever. It's about this woman going on there, running her mouth, and being damn racist. It's not acceptable in today's society. And I am so glad that some damn station said that they say, you know what, we ain't putting up with this bullshit no more. Get your fat ass on out the door. Now the damn bitch, she sits up there and she goes, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. She says sorry. But at the same time, and she took the tweet down. That's because she got busted, okay? She said that tweeted it, and then she goes, you know what? I might as well need to quit saying, you know, this shit. Let me get it down because I might lose my job. It dawned on her that she's going to end up losing her job. Well, guess what, folks? She wasn't quick enough. Somebody caught it. Somebody ran with it. But here's the thing that I'm more pissed off about. If you are going to go and run your mouth like a big girl like she did... Be a damn girl. Be a big damn girl. Be a damn big girl. Excuse me. I, it gets me so fired up. Pull up your damn big girl panties and take the damn responsibility, Roseanne. I do every ding dong daggone day. And I got a daggone potty mouth and I sit up there and I say how things I feel. Now, ooh, look at that damn hair. But anyway, I don't care. I just woke up. These damn people get up there and run their damn freaking mouths like her and damn Kanye West. And they think it's okay to do that. But when they get busted and called out on something, they blame it on the prescription drugs that they are taking. Well, let me tell you something. I've never seen on a damn prescription that one of the side effects is being racist. You are born that You are bred that way. You choose to be the way. Kanye, note to self, that is a choice to be. Because I'm going to tell you why. I was raised in a very racist thing on family, and I choose not to be. Okay? I'm not racist. I am so glad that they sit up there and gave Roseanne Barr the boot. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed the show. I really did. It made me laugh. Brought back some old memories for me. But I will not tolerate, even if they, like, for instance, if they didn't take off her show and did what they did, I would have personally switched the channel and watched something else. Because there's a lot of stuff out there that's a lot better than Dan Roseanne Barr to be watching. But my whole point being is, if you don't like something, if you don't like something, switch the damn channel. Because a lot of people, instead of there talking about other talk shows and stuff like that, if you don't like something, switch your damn channel. You know what I'm saying? I don't watch talk shows. 
as far as, you know, a bunch of hens sitting around yakking about, you know, what Trump is doing or what or what anybody is doing. I don't watch that shit because it's stupid. Because they talk about the same shit every day. So I don't watch it. But they sit up there and blame their actions on drugs. Like, us as people are supposed to say, oh, it's okay. I understand, honey. It's all them damn drugs you're taking and stuff. It made you say racist stuff. It's okay. Keep on going, honey. We still give you a show. Uh 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 uh. That's bullshit, Roseanne. Get off the stick. Own it up, girl. You got all that yak, 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 big ass talk. But you can't walk the walk. You want to blame it on a damn drug. Ah, Roseanne, that's all I got to say to you. You washed up now. You're gone, girl. You're gone, girl. You can't work in Hollywood no more. And it's all because of one treat. One dang one tweet, not a treat. Maybe a treat for other people. But you, you're you done. That's why you didn't work for a couple of years. It's because your dad going alligator mouth overloaded your puppy dog ass. That's all that is. And another one that's coming right up there behind you is Kanye West. Because that dang on boy, he sit up there, he say some stupid shit. And then he turns around and blame me on the opiates. I was on opiates and it made me do it. Opiates don't make you stupid, okay? You're born that way, Kanye. Your mama must have dropped you on your head a couple of times for you to say what you said. For you to sit up there and say, slavery was a choice. Man, no wonder your people are up against you, brother. <laughs> but then we, we won't even discuss that because that's stupid is and stupid does because he's got the day going stupid girl with him backing him up on stupid stuff that he says. But then Roseanne Barr, you know how shit is. You know what the deal is. You've been in the business for quite a while. And you still, once again, you let your damn alligator mouth overload your puppy dog ass. And now you don't understand. You washed up now, baby. Because not anybody is going to touch you now. Because the damn mouse kicked you out. ABC is owned by Disney. Hello, that's why you signed those little goody two-shoe contracts. And you broke your contract. That's it. That's it. You can't even follow little teeny rules. So you get up there and you tweet about this dang old girl. That, that was uncalled for. It really was, Roseanne. And like I said, be a big girl. Pull up your big girl panties. And get on with your life. Your life in Hollywood is over with now. Okay. Everybody's going to know you now for the racist bitch. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of sad, Roseanne. Because I already know, you know, some of the crap that you have been through as a person. I really respected you on that level. And now you go to do stuff like this. It's really disappointing to me. But at the same time. People, when you tweet something, or you do like I'm doing now, talking shit, as usual, that's a me. If you say something, it's going to hurt somebody's feelings down the road. I apologize for that right now. But at the same time, I don't regret what I say. Because if you don't like what I say, hey. Go on to the other YouTube channel. That's all I got to say. But my whole point is, be very careful what you text and what you say. Because consequences is always around the corner. So on that note, that damn Roseanne Moore, she just fires me up hotter than a damn firecracker on the 4th of July. Because she does stupid shit. And now she's got all these damn people unemployed. Everybody was all happy. Because let me tell you why. They found out yesterday morning that the show was set up there. 
They got the show for another season. They came out and told everybody, hey, y'all got another season. So they're sitting up there going, wow, we got another season. Hey, we got this in the pocket here. We're going to get paid every damn week at least. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, my hair is so fucked. It's okay. So now they woke up. They sat up there. They found out the day before or whatever. They got another, another day. You know, another day going. Yeah, another season. And then they woke up yesterday, and they ain't got nothing. As soon as they got it, they quickest they got it, the quickest they took it away. And Roseanne, she tweeted that stuff. Knowing that she's going to be messed up her damn contract and probably lose the damn show. And now all these daggone people she let down because she did it. And now she doesn't understand why these people are pissed off at her. Well, you know what? She needs to, like I said, pull up them big girl panties and sit up there. Yes, she apologized. She says she's sorry and stuff like that. But you know what, Rose? Sorry don't pay them damn bills. Thank God for the Big Bang Theory for at least three of your daggone co-stars. And thank goodness that John Goodman really doesn't need daggone Roseanne to help him out. Oh, hell no. He does some pretty good movies, too. We're talking about movies, Roseanne. Okay? We ain't talking sitcoms, shit like that. That man, he does movies. You know what I'm saying? Movies people go and pay to see. But at the same time, and then you got the other three, Sheldon's mama and Leslie and... Leonard <laughs> from the Big Bang. So they're all done. But your two kids that you left out on the street, Darlene and DJ, I don't know where the hell they're going to be working at. But you know what? It's all good. Because you did it. And it was nice of you to apologize to everybody because of something you did. And trust me, we ain't going to defend you. Mm -mm. You did what you did. So, on that note, to all my little kitty pies out there, I'm so sorry, but I had to be. This stuff is going too dang on far, especially when I hear people from other sources and still shit trying to stick up for her. I try to put Barack Obama all up in this stuff, too. And this boy had nothing to do with it. Then he said that they try to put up Trump in front of this stuff, too. And he has nothing to do with this, either. So, y'all leave the presidents alone for a while. And bitch out. Chew this damn fat-ass bitch off another 50 pounds, okay? Y'all have a good day, my cutie pies. And remember, Auntie Judy loves you. Bye-bye now.